Google often seems pretty confused about what to do with its own products if they aren't Search, Android, or Gmail, and Chrome OS is no different. Over the last 12-ish years, Google and its hardware partners have tried a host of tactics to promote Chromebooks with varying degrees of success. We've seen cheap secondary computers, education-focused initiatives, premium high-quality devices, tablets, convertibles, cloud gaming laptops, and surely other things that I'm forgetting. But too often, it's hard to find a Chromebook without at least one glaring flaw be it a lousy screen, poor battery life, a weak processor, or if they're just too expensive. The recently announced Chromebook Plus initiative might be a lasting solution to this issue. A computer with the Chromebook Plus designation meets a number of criteria, including at least an Intel Core i3 12th gen processor or an AMD Ryzen 3 7000 series chip. Add on eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, a full 1080p IPS screen, and a 1080p webcam. But these aren't necessarily high-end expensive Chromebooks like we've seen from HP, Samsung, and even Google over the years. Take the new Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5i Chromebook Plus, for example. It's a simple laptop that won't blow anyone away, but the combination of price, specs, design, and performance make it the ideal Chromebook for most people. At first glance, the IdeaPad Flex 5i is an unassuming laptop, neither particularly svelte at 8 tenths of an inch thick, nor particularly light at 3.6 pounds. A little large for a 14 inch laptop, but considering its price, I have no problems with it. As with most Lenovo devices, it feels solidly built, which is more important than being the most compact. When you open up the laptop, you're greeted by the 14 inch 1920 by 1200 IPS touchscreen, a display that's thankfully a little taller than a straight 1080p panel. It's not the best screen I've ever seen, but for a $500 laptop, it's quite good. Can you detect a theme yet? Colors are bright, text is sharp, and viewing angles are wide. I can't think of much that I'd change. More pixels or a faster refresh rate would be nice, but this display checks just about all of the boxes. Similarly, the keyboard does the job without being too flashy. The keycaps are large, the backlight is bright, and the whole setup is comfortable for extended typing sessions. Ditto the trackpad, which is large, smooth, and responsive. Lenovo got these crucial basics right, which isn't a huge surprise given the company's lengthy track record. As I mentioned, there are a handful of specs that are required to meet the Chromebook Plus designation. Lenovo's IdeaPad 5i uses a 13th gen Intel Core 3i processor paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. For most people, that should be enough to deliver a quality Chrome OS experience. I typically run multiple Chrome windows with a bunch of tabs alongside a variety of web apps like Trello, Slack, Google Keep, YouTube Music, Todoist, and a handful of others. I also tried out Android apps like Adobe Lightroom and Google Photos with no issues. Unfortunately, Google either can't or won't mandate minimum battery life for the Chromebook Plus devices, so I was yet again disappointed at the gap between what manufacturers claim and the reality of actually using the device. I typically got about seven hours of use before I needed a charger, and I generally wasn't taxing the computer too much with long video calling sessions. That's compared to the quote, up to 10 hours at Lenovo claims. Seven hours isn't terrible, and it's better than some other Chromebooks I've tried recently, but I think Intel's chips are just too power hungry to get much more out of the battery. Between six and seven hours is pretty typical for Intel Chromebooks with an i3 or i5 processor, so I wasn't shocked at these results, but I was still hoping for a little more. When pulling together the minimum Chromebook Plus specs, Google wisely dictated that devices were required to have at least a 1080p webcam. Given that we're firmly in a world where video calls for work and personal life are the norm, this is a great baseline to establish. Too many Chromebooks skip in this department, but the IdeaPad Flex 5i's camera was reliably solid. Google also includes a handful of software features on Chromebook Plus models, including AI-powered tools to improve lighting when you're on a video call, regardless of whether you're using Google's own Meet tool or competing services like Zoom. The improved lighting feature works well to smooth out harsh shadows. In my office, the window is on my right, which can cast pretty strong shadows on my face. The improved lighting feature did a good job of reducing the darkness on one side of my face without overdoing it. There are a few other software features that are coming to Chromebook Plus devices first. Chrome OS now has some material design flourishes, which give it nice symmetry with Android. That includes a few dynamic wallpapers that adjust lighting as the day passes. I just wish there were more than two of them. There's a file sync feature that automatically syncs and stores your Google Drive files locally. 
Unfortunately, that didn't work for me because it'll only sync if the storage used by your My Drive folder is less than the capacity of your laptop's SSD. I have blown past the 100-ish gigabyte capacity, but more casual users will probably appreciate having their files available when they don't have an internet connection. The Google Photos Android app has a few editing tools that you can't get on the web, including Magic Eraser for removing unwanted distractions from photos, as well as the Movie Maker tools that were introduced last year. The Chromebook Plus lineup also includes free trials of Adobe Photoshop for the web and Adobe Express, as well as GeForce Now Cloud Gaming. As someone who has used Chromebooks for years, these software features don't exactly change the game for me, but I appreciate that Google is going out of its way to show new users what kinds of things they can do with the Chromebook right out of the box. I think Google has a smart idea on its hands with the Chromebook Plus initiative, though for the Chromebook Plus initiative to work, they'll have to keep updating the standards and certifying new devices. But at the moment, Chromebook Plus laptops look good and Lenovo's IdeaPad Flex 5i shows why. It's not among the cheapest Chromebooks on the market, but for $500, you get a computer that'll meet most people's basic needs. It's not a bare bones experience either. The screen and keyboard are great and performance is reliably solid. It's a particularly good option if you're an Android user or use lots of services in Google's ecosystem. And with 10 years of software updates and support, it should get plenty of improvements in the future as well. And if the IdeaPad Flex 5i doesn't meet your needs, there are multiple other Chromebook Plus options that should offer the same level of performance. Some are as cheap as $400, others have larger 15-inch screens and more powerful specs. For my money, the IdeaPad Flex 5i is an ideal Chromebook for most people, though I will be checking out other Chromebook Plus models soon to see how they compare. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned to Engadget for more news and reviews.